Ave Maria, welcome again to Cato Pinoy Franciscan Vesper or Evening Prayer. Today we are celebrating the Feast of the Transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you have your bravery, like this or digital, let us start by praying the invocation of Saint Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart with many wordless, evil, distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. <clears throat> Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be. World without end. Amen. Alleluia. This good Lord to be here, Thy glory fills the night. Thy face and garments like the sun Shine with unborrowed light. This good Lord to be here, Thy beauty to behold, Where Moses and Elijah stand, Thy messengers of old, Fulfiller of the past, promiser of things to be, we hail thy body glorified, and our redemption see. Before we taste of death, we see thy kingdom come. Before us keep thy vision bright, and make this place our home. For Santipon, Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John, and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone, and he was transfigured before them. Psalm 110, verse 1 to 5 and 7 <clears throat> The Lord's Revelation to my Master Sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath, <clears throat> he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink <clears throat> from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For Santipum, Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John, and led them up a high mountain, where they could be alone and he was transfigured before them. Second Antiphon, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice spoke from the cloud, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble. Let him sleep not your guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers. Israel's guard. The Lord is your guard and, you, and your shade. At your right side he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and coming, both now and forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antiphon, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice spoke from the cloud, This is my beloved Son. In whom, in whom I, I am well pleased. Listen to him. 
dead Antiphon, as they came down from the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one of the vision until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. Canticle is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Christ manifested in the flesh. Christ justified in the spirit. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Christ contemplated by the angels. Christ proclaimed by the pagans. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Christ who is believed in the world. Christ exalted in glory. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be. World without end. Amen. Third Antiphon As they came down from the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one of the vision until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. From the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 16 to 17. The Spirit Himself gives witness with our spirit that we are children of God. But if we are children, we are heirs as well. Heirs of God, heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with Him, so as to be glorified with Him. Responsory, beauty and wealth surround Him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Response, beauty and wealth surround Him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Richness and splendor adorn His holy place. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Response, beauty and wealth surround Him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Canticle of Mary, when they heard the voice from the cloud, the disciples fell on their faces, overcome with fear. Jesus came up to them, touched them, and said, Stand up, do not be afraid. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceits. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary, when they heard the voice from the cloud, the disciples fell on their faces. Overcome with fear, Jesus came up to them, touched them, and said, Stand up. Do not be afraid. Intercessions in the presence of his disciples, our Savior was wonderfully transfigured on Mount Tabor. 
Let us pray to Him with confidence. Response Lord, in Your light may we see light. O Christ, before Your passion and death, You revealed the resurrection to Your disciples on Mount Tabor. We pray for Your Church, which labors amid the cares and anxiety of this world. Response that in its trial, it may always be transfigured by the joy of your victory. O Christ, you took Peter, James, and John, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. We pray for our Pope and Bishops. Response, that they may inspire in your people the hope of being transfigured at the last day. O Christ, upon the, mo upon the mountain top. You let the light of your face shine over Moses and Elijah. Response We ask your blessing upon the Jewish people of old. You called them to be your chosen nation. O Christ, you gave light to the world when the glory of the Creator arose over you. Response We pray for men of goodwill that they may walk in your light. O Christ, you will reform our lowly body and make it like your glorious one. Response We pray for our brothers and sisters who have died that they may share in your glory forever. So, brothers and sisters, let us include in our Franciscan Vesper or evening prayer our family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, our faithful departed, and let us not not forget to include our frontliners, our brothers and sisters affected by this coronavirus, and let us pray to the Lord, uh, to the transfigured Lord and our Blessed Mother for the end of this pandemic and for the vaccine and medicine. And let us pray for Lebanon, no? It was a, a great explosion, chemical explosion, I think. And let us pray for those also who are celebrating their feast and birthday today. Now let us pause a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your, of your prophets and show us the splendor of your beloved sons and daughters. As we listen to the voice of your Son, help us to become heirs to eternal life with him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, your health, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So thank you very much and have a beautiful evening and a wonderful uh, Thursday. <laughs> And always remember, don't forget, smile, be happy, Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria.